activated by song. Uh, did you use the triggers for sharp flat tones? Oh. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that does sound. Yeah, it wow. is. Wow. Awesome. You can turn off the music in in the options. So, Shell. Yeah. Maybe not today, but I think you should at least sing like, see if you can put together a song in this. Maybe. This is a goof. What what kind of song? I don't know. Whatever Any you want to sing. Yeah. You got songs. I know I have plenty of songs. Farewell, plant. Yeah, you need to find. The pitch at which it will grow off to the side. I mean, really. Or you just need to stand I on it. I just need to climb on it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. This is an adorable game. I love it. Yep. Oh, there you go. Oh, it grows in the direction you play it. Yeah. Yep. You're I love squished. that animation. That's oh. adorable. He's like, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> oh, this is really, this is really good. Uh oh. Oh, yep. Swerve off that way. This is so oh, right. cute. I can use the, I can use the uh, shoulder buttons to, uh, I can use the shoulder buttons to jump, so I don't have to rely on. Could you imagine if the world did react to music like this? Uh, have to be careful. <laughs> yeah. Eminem would be dangerous to be around. Why Eminem? Because he's an angry dude. <laughs> Almost sounded like the beginning of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. There we go. This is this is oh, this is so cute. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, so as long as I keep singing, everything's okay. Oh. I'm just wondering, what are the clouds in this realm? It's so. Yep, you have the bird. I think I made it. Yeah, you, you didn't make <laughs> it to the next door. I was like, I kind of know where it is. But yeah, you just walk out into a forest and cause a catastrophe. <laughs> Anybody that sings in the shower is going to have some serious issues with like mold and the like. Oh, oh no. Oh, you mean if it's oh, just organic no. matter? Oh. oh no. Oh, I see. You need to grow it to you. Notice it's losing leaves, so it stops at a certain point. It can only grow so far. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you can't have the infinite extendo plant. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh. Was the castle dancing too? Yep. The castle bounces and dances. It's a little fuzzy back there. A little pixely. I think I'm fine. Yep. It's very hard to see what I'm doing. When's crosscode? We might do crosscode today. After this, at the very least. Yeah. We'll play this I want to spend. I want to spend some time. Wait a minute. On this that tonight. plant is underneath a small shelf of. Is this underneath a small shelf of rock? Maybe. Oh, it's growing up just fine. Uh. Oh, it rooted itself in the ground, so there was no getting it up. There it goes again. Oh, there we go. Because I have to use the bird to jump. Oh, that's clever. Oh. And I just jump here and go out this this way. Well, this is neat. I think this is one of the more unique puzzle mechanics I've ever seen. Does work at the octave lower. Oh yeah, you okay, did find the go. next ledge. There's the stars again. Ah. 
on the castle. Everything's a rumbling. Oh, you're going so rapidly that. He just sounds crazy. <laughs> it's great. Okay, so let, let's go in, see if we can find a place that's maybe a little bit less. Yeah, if I hit if I hit the shoulder buttons, everything just sounds really, really stupid. <laughs> and it does not interrupt the game at all. Which is I kinda great. Uh oh. Everything's rumbling. Don't you hear the in your ears? Oh I see. Oh, wait. A butterfly cat? Oh my gosh! Please tell me you're the overseer! The overseer? No. It's not. Oh. I guess that's okay too. Well, is the overseer about? I came a really long way to see them. My master, the Dream King, is taking a nap. And he can't see you till he's awake. Oh, uh, okay. How long are his naps usually? Usually a few years. What? I gotta wait for a few years? Meow said usually. This last nap has been going on for centuries. Oh, I don't have centuries! Please, can you wake him up? I'm on a very important quest. Understands, but Mr. Dream King does not like to be woken. You gotta be uh, kidding me! Uh, I can do it if you're too scared to. I, I can sing real loud. That's like my thing. That is not going to work. Only the bell atop the castle could do it. Hmm. I should not have told you that. D do not ring the bell. I'm totally going to! Oh, no. Oh. Don't do this. How are you going to stop me? Oh gosh, do you hear that constipated sound? What's going on? Ow! Hey! Ow! Stop oh. that! Ah! Is she clawing him? His job, right? I'll learn that's the song, and then he can go back to sleep. Wait a minute. The rumbling is his snoring. Yeah. That's why it disturbed me so much. Yeah. <gasps> you can see there's no stopping you. But if you can bring back that determination with you, Mr. Dream King is there to help you out. Meowie. Sing yellow. Oh no, you're singing. I have magical bell voice. <laughs> It's just inching away from the castle ever so slowly. Watch the whole castle be the king? Or the Mr. Overseer? That'd be creepy. The whole thing just starts to shake. Whoa, never mind. What?
they can understand? Understand me now. Yes. Fantastic. So, why am I awake? Ah, the world is ending. Oh. Yeah, and so I adventured into the spirit world and solved a bunch of puzzles and fought with a cat butterfly so I could come meet you. I want you to teach me the Earth Song. Okay. Oh man, he's a cat too. Oof. Sorry about that. Being awake is not my thing. That's okay. Uh, are you really going to teach me the Earth Song? song channels all the voice of the life all life on this planet and if all that life is in imperfect harmony the song won't work so I'm kind of not seeing the point uh so you won't help meh but what about all the people on earth yeah what about the rest of the universe it's all going away that's the natural order of things. You're asking me to bend the rules just to save this tiny little piece. A bit selfish, don't you think? I'm not really feeling up to it anyway. Uh... Okay, back to sleep now. No, wait! There's ghosts haunting Langtree. Oh, that sounds tough. Well, good luck with that. Oh! I can't believe that guy! Sorry, little bard. Should I really just give up? No. Well, I mean, you could. But... I believe in you, little bard. I kinda didn't before. But now, seeing your determination, I do. I think you can actually sing the Earth Song. But how? Th if the Overseer won't help me... There's six more. And each one's got a piece. So maybe... Screw this guy. And let's find the others. Huh. Where? Ushra... One thing at a time, you know? First, you gotta deal with those ghosties back home. Okay, I'm out. Exit tree to your left. Peace. Wee. Oh. This game is so happy and like colorful, a little trippy. Yeah. And also, like, kind of horrifying. That it is. Well then. So were there are six other overseers? But he didn't even divulge his piece of the song. Only that everyone had to live in harmony. Do you know what this is gonna be? This hmm? is going to be like, we sing in Sillyville. No. Where they have to unite all the peoples of the land and have them sing together in one song. Hey, almighty! These things just don't quit. You can do it, Miss Mayor. Thanks, Clyde. Oh. Wrong person. Oh well, close enough anyway. It was, I think, the mustache. It was Clyde. Clyde. Yeah. Hello. Oh Jesus, that kid again. Mm. Ah. Hey, wait! What? I can understand you now! What? That's well. I guess it's the same language the Dream King spoke in. So then, kid, we could use a mighty fine favor from you. We need you to translate our ghost talk into music. I can do that! Hot dog. And the Sam Hill's going on. Okay, listen close.
What song are you playing? Just any song? No. No, the. Oh, the ghosts are singing. Okay. Where Ron, John, and Ma Marie. Oh. Your folks have just passed. But this world is ending. And so we've amassed. Wait, we've amassed? Really? Yeah, this world's ending, so we've amassed. Mm -hmm. You won't get your fair chance to live your lives through. You want to sing this sort of? Sure. And that's why we come back to spend time with you. I knew it. They were going to be people from the town, weren't they? Yep. Including the dude's dead wife, probably. The yeah. one that he was mentioning. Yep. Yeah, so I suppose if you need to translate for any more Ron, ghosts... John, and Mary, I think it was. Anyway. Yeah. Well, I'll be. Pa, is that you? Indeed it is. Oh, he said yes. Well, I don't feel like a right fool. Don't I feel like well, a right I fool? Well, don't I feel like a right fool? Of course the spirits were our own kin. And why would they care to hurt us? I guess that solves our ghost problem. In a lot of these events, kiddo, I'm making you the new mayor of Langtree. What? You heard right. Today, I couldn't do my job, and you could. My folks deserve a capable person to keep them safe. Simple as that. Pardon me, Miss Mayor, but what are you talking about? You're an excellent leader. Remember the time Bronson Boy was lost in the woods? Aye, or the time Clyde got stuck in a tree. Hey! We're all so proud that to have you as our mayor. The Bardlet is nice, but... Also, kind of a dope. Most of our problems can't actually be solved by singing! Hmm. After further consideration... I may have been a bit hasty about that mayor thing. That's okay. I think I'm going on an adventure anyway. Well, we'll be right here, kiddo. Thanks for everything. I... I really like this game. Maybe it's that's Mask, probably? Oh, hey. No, oh. it's Miriam, and she's a witch! Yep. Well... Ah, so that. You were talking in the spirit language. Did you meet with the Overseer? <laughs> yep. I knew it. Okay, listen up. You're coming with me. Hop on my broom. Whenever you're ready to go. I think the problem is the the accent from the mayor is translating yeah, over into yeah. this. I need to get back to my. It's normal. okay. Uh, oh, no, God. no more, no oh. more mildly country voices. She's probably a lot younger than you think she is. She just has a long nose. Yeah, you think? Because she's a witch. She has a long nose because she's a witch. See, you're a witch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you got a long schnoz. There's a difference between a schnoz and a witch nose. But my cousins always called it a witch nose. Well, then your cousins are dumb. <laughs> if you're a witch, I'd be, I'd be making use of that. Wait, what do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> I, would f I don't want to drive anywhere. Oh, How about that broom? Oh, what? I see what you mean. That's silly. Okay. Hold on to your butt. Whee! I can sing during like half of these cutscenes, by the way. I love that. So I can just sit around singing random garbage. Act two. The performance at the Crazy Raven.
I love how delightfully simple the visuals are for this game. This is it. What's this place? What do you think? It's me and my grandma's house. Oh, so she is probably yeah. younger. Come inside. Watch the grandma's nose just be like crazy long. Nope, never no, mind. It's non existent. Like sweet grandma. She looks so sweet. <laughs> she looks like the kind of grandma that would, well, bake she your was cookies. probably adorable as a child, and you know, people like pinch the cheeks and stuff, but her face is just play doy enough that her face has just been slowly expanding out due to forever pinches. Well, hello. So, you talk to an overseer, hmm? That's so delightful. We've been trying to commune with them since we divined this world's fate. Uh, more like I've been trying to? Do you think she she almost sounds like the, sort of like the punk teenager? Yeah, doesn't well she? she absolutely is, kinda. Mm -hmm. You just sit at home and tell me what to do. I'm an old lady, Miriam. Schmold. But I can see from your eyes. She's so sassy and creepy. <laughs> he didn't help you, did he? Nope. But the others might if I meet him or meet them. Oh. I thought you'd be more useful than that. Hmm. Well. I like this one. So full of hope. Unlike my granddaughter. I think you two ought to travel together. Uh, excuse me? This clown? Hey, I resent that! We don't even know your name. Well, why don't you tell us your name then? Oh! Oh. Wait, so you have to start with one of these? Uh, there's only one vowel here. Well, I'm pretty sure the letters will change up. Maybe. I don't know. Why don't... I mean... Oh. What, what's going on? Oh, I was hoping I could change the pitch to change the um, letters. Why about you crouch? Can you crouch to change nope. the letters? Nope. No. So what do you want the first letter of his name to be? Um... I mean, I kind of wanted to just uh, swing the stick around a couple of times and see what we end up with. No. Well, uh, for some reason, I'm thinking it should start with B. I, I mean, I kind of like Gelps or Belps. I was thinking of, like, Beck. Or, but the thing is, Bev would be like Beverly. So that wouldn't be right. We don't know if E is going to be the only vowel that... I really like... Alps Well, okay. At the moment, let's just choose the first letter you want for his name. <laughs> we could call him Leg. Leg the Bard. Well, Gel the Bard. Well, let's start with L. Just type L first. L. Yeah, see? You get different choices, but it looks like they are limiting it. Yeah. Well, these are vowels. Uh huh. Oh, can we call him Liar the Bard? Oh, with a Y? Yeah. Liar. We, we could call him Liar. Uh. Well. Uh, Li... Liar? Huh. Wait. No. Nope. I protest the lack of... Lack of choice. I need more consonants. Um, do you need to do... Leo. Let's do O. Leon, just, you're gonna end up with like Leonidas or something. Leon, let's do N. I guess it works. It works. It kind of works. Fine, we this have is awkward. A, we have a good name. Great, great. <laughs> we stumbled across that one. Hey, it's fine. It's fine. Leon. Lion. 
I like Leon. I know. But Lion. I know. No, well, Leon just makes me think of Grumple, Grumple McStiltskin from uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Or Leon S. Kennedy from Resident Evil. Eh. <laughs> so, your name is Leon. Yep. What a wonderful name. It's a pleasure to meet you. Is that good enough for you, Miriam? Ah, uh, whatever. Welcome to the team, Leon. That's one bump and granny. Oh, it's a place in France. Yeah, people are thinking of lions, right? I think that's uh, how you pronounce possibly, it. Possibly, yeah. Uh, don't mind my granddaughter. She's a fuddy duddy. But her heart is good. Saffy? Like I'm Sapphire? in your bedroom! Doing a jig. Come on, me. Witchy bedroom. Kinda weird. Leaving. Forever. Probably not. <sighs> okay. Let's get going down this hill. Can't I fly with you? No. You're heavy. And anyways, we're going through a cave up ahead. There's an overseer access point in there. For the Queen of Winds. And before you ask why we haven't checked this one out yet, it's because there's monsters in this cave. Monsters? Don't you freak out about it. I'm panicking a little bit. I'm gonna hide in this tree for a while. Okay, I feel better now. Nope. <laughs> Okay, now I feel better. I... Man, what is it about this year and really charming games? Because, like, this, CrossCode, uh... I guess Under Hero is honestly kind of distressing, but it, like, it feels like I've been playing a lot of really charming games lately. I mean, smaller teams, more creative freedom. Yeah, it's you true. You know what I mean? I think it's also one of those that, like, we're starting to hit on more of the unique ideas now that people have gotten, like, the more generic games out of the way. So when you say monsters... Aya almighty. I'm a witch! I can handle monsters. Frankly, I don't know what we need you around for. But hey, Grandma Safi knows best. Uh. She's too trusting for her own good. I know. She orchestrated this just to mess with me. She lives for that. Hurry up already. <laughs> oh, you're whispering in this game? <laughs> it looks like he broke. <laughs> Sing something I want to hear. 